When creating tests with Mabel, you may come across a scenario where you need to do something over and over, like clicking all the checkboxes on a page, adding multiple items to a cart, or asserting that a list of search results match your expectations. For these scenarios, Mabel enables you to loop a set of steps so you can do an action once and let Mabel do the rest. This feature allows testers to choose whether to loop the set of steps a fixed number of times, or to base the loop on the value of a variable, such as a number on the page, or the number of times an element appears on the page. Both of these let you loop the set of steps up to 500 times for each test run. Here's how to use looping in your own Mabel tests. Add a new flow when training a test. On the screen that appears, you'll see three sections for configuring the flow. Give the flow a name, and then click on the looping section. Here you can pick between looping the flow a fixed number of times, or by using a variable value. If you use a variable value, the looping count will be evaluated at the start of each iteration, and if the value is less than or equal to the current loop count, the flow will not loop again. This means you can conditionally set the variable you're looping on to zero, or a number less than or equal to the current loop count, and the looping will end. Save the test, and the flow will be saved with it. Next time you run the test, the flow will loop for the number of times you configured it to during the test execution. Try out looping for yourself with the free trial on the Mabel website. We hope looping saves you time training tests, and also enables you to handle more complex scenarios.